So we are going to go to register UK VAT. Just search for register for UK VAT on google.com. So over here you can find all the information on how to register for VAT and what you will need to register for VAT. The information you will need to register for VAT depends of course on type of your business. But if you are a limited company, you will need your UTR number, your company name, your bank details. If you are an individual or partnership, you will need to give you date of birth, national insurance number, ID such as passport or driving license, details of turnover and nature of business and of course bank account details. For individual and partnership, you do not need UTR or for VAT registration. So after you register for VAT, you will get a 9 digit VAT number and this number you can always provide for your imports into UK. So once you sign up for your VAT online, you will get a 9 digit VAT number. You will also get information about how to set up your business tax account and also information on how to submit your first VAT return and when you have to submit it. And you will get your certification. So this is an effective date of your VAT being applicable. So let's get going and start with our VAT registration process. So for me, it's a limited company. So I'll be doing, so I'll be doing a registration for limited company. And I'll be doing it online and, and not via post. So once you go, go into this link, which is there always in, I have put that link in the description. You have to sign it into this website. For that, you will get a user ID on your email address. So now I'll go and get my user ID. So I have sign in. So I already created a draft over here, but I'm just for this purpose, I'm going to create a new application. So over here, we are just going to call it some name. I'll call it blue stack. It's just application reference number, nothing more. Press continue. Then you accept this declaration saying that you are making a legal declaration that the information is correct and complete to the best of your knowledge and belief. A false declaration can result in prosecution. Does the business have a fixed establishment in the UK or the Isle of Man? So basically, a so since being a UK company, it's it's a place where essential management decisions are made and the business center administration is carried out is in the UK or the Isle of Man. UK company. So what type of business do you want to register for VAT? It's a UK company. Is the business applying for the agriculture flat rate scheme? No. Will the business do any of the following activities over the next 12 months? Sell assets bought from outside the UK and claim a refund of VAT. Sell goods into Northern Ireland from a no. Whose business do you want to register? Your own. You want to register the business for VAT. It's selling goods or services and need to want to charge VAT to customers. It's taking a VAT registered business as a transfer. Has the business taxable turnover? The answer is no because it's a new firm. Does the business expect to make more than 85,000 pounds in a single month or a 30 day period? I don't know. I'll say no. Do you want to voluntarily register the business for VAT? Answer is yes. The business will be signed up for making tax digital for VAT. Yes, continue register for VAT. So there are six steps for registering your VAT. One is a basic step. Then is verify the business. Then it's about you, about the business, VAT registration, and then you, end, you send application. So let's go started with the business information. So over here you will put your company registration number. Save and continue. Over here you will put the unique taxpayer reference which you will get from the HMRC. So these are basically identification questions. So these are basically questions which they ask to identify you to see whether it's a it's a real company or, or whether whether the person is genuine who is who is doing the work or it's someone else. So the verification of the business is complete. Now it's about personal information. So here I'll be going to put my date of birth. So what is, it's asking for my national insurance number, which I don't have since I am not a UK resident. Then we con confirm and continue. I'm going to select director over here. Have you ever changed your name? No. So now they need my address. So now over here, I'm going to put my address and all my details. 
and once that is done I'm gonna press continue so now it's done and I'm gonna press continue continue have you lived at, have you li have you lived at this home have I resided in this address for more than three years the answer is yes so my address is complete now I need to provide my contact details over here I'm gonna put my contact so I'm just put the confirmation code which they have sent it to my email then save and continue my address has been confirmed save and continue now they're asking for my international number so it's so my so there are three steps which are completed it's a basic check verification of the business and about about me now we are going to input all the details about business and then we are going to also in, input about VAT registration and the last is attaching the document and then sending the application is this your trading name answer is yes the primary place of business which will be on my certificate of incorporation so now over here I'm gonna put my UK postcode which which will come with my company registration details so wherever you register your company in UK they will provide you with the address of So over here you need to put your business email address which I have entered. Well, save and continue. So the business phone number is gonna be my personal number for the time being. Does the business have a website? No, I don't have a website right now. What language should we send you in English? Should we contact the business or what? We can send an email, that's perfectly fine by us so now the business activities or uh, letting of the business is primarily set up for selling online especially via amazon and to european markets from uk Save and continue. I'm just gonna put trade over here for the SIC code. Well, so if you're someone like me who sell on Amazon, then your actual SIC code should be 47910 because that's what because that's what most Amazon sellers use for registration. So that there you go. Retail sale via mail order mail. That's 47910 for you retail sale via mail order houses or via internet so that's perfect no the answer is no over here because i don't have any other businesses in uk or neither any of my partners have ever had any businesses in uk now we go to vat registration will the business trade vat taxable goods with countries outside the uk the answer is yes do you need an eori number the answer is yes what do you think the VAT taxable turnover will be for the next 12 months? So I'm just gonna put a very random number. I, it's very difficult to gauge but I'm putting it around 100,000 pounds. What will be the value of businesses zero rated taxable goods over the next 12 months? It's very difficult to say so I might just put a random $5,000. Does the business expect to do any of the following in the next 12 months? Sell goods located in northern islands to any country sell or move goods from neither sell goods located in so this is basically asking if you are gonna sell goods from northern island to any other country or from northern island to eu country so i am just gonna select no over here does the business expect to receive goods in northern island from an eu country i'm just gonna select no because we don't know so does the business expect to regularly claim vat refunds from hmfc no because we are not uh, involved in any kind of export business so now we have to provide a bank account details over here we're able to provide bank or business society account details for the business the answer is yes so i'm just gonna put all my details over here so that is I put all my details now seven continue so now registration date what do you want the business VAT start date to be I'll choose it to be somewhere from 1st of September preferably so that's 1st September it's easier for me VAT returns so since I am mostly gonna import into UK and sell in sell in UK or in EU I would prefer to choose the annual accounting scheme but it's it's completely up to you or whether do you want to file your returns quarterly or you just wish to file your returns once in a year but of course you need to pay your VAT if payable every quarter or every month so what will be the last month of business accounting year so over here I'm gonna select December 
Do I like to, because I prefer the calendar years. So he's asking that how often do I wish to make VAT payments? I prefer quarterly over monthly. It also helps me personally. How does the VAT want to pay VAT? Uh, I'll select over internet banking. All right, save and continue. Flat rate scheme. No, I will not like to choose a flat rate scheme. Now I have to upload my documents. So there are basically two documents needed. A recent utility bill and a passport or a work permit or visa oh. so I uploaded all my documents and I'm gonna just check if anything is pending so I'm just gonna check my answers and I'm just gonna click confirm and submit